Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Blessed be our Lord and Savior, the Holy One of God. <laughs> Y'all, I've just been crying and crying and crying. And... But it's tears of joy. Today I turned 25, y'all. And I was just looking back over my life and the life I used to live of selling drugs and game banging and robbing people, fornicating with all kind of women. And been in and out of jail and been shot at, been robbed and stabbed. And all the wrong that I've done. The Lord still didn't let me die. All the clubbing. And all the drinking. All the smoking. You know, when I look back over those things, I just can see how even when I was in the part of my sins that God's grace, God's grace and His mercy was still upon me. And today I'm just so grateful, y'all, that the Lord allowed me to live and not die. You know, there were so many times with my family, they would tell me that I was going to be dead by the age 21. Or I was going to be in prison serving a life sentence like my dad. You know, I believed that. I believed what they was telling me. And it caused me to feel like I ain't have nothing to live for. I had a forget the world attitude. I didn't care about nothing to nobody, y'all. I was real thoroughbred. Hard-headed. Prideful. Arrogant. I was a killer, y'all. And now when I just look over my life and I just see how the Lord just done, done changed me. Like he said in Ezekiel 36. He said, if you come to me, I'll create a clean heart inside of you. And I'll renew the right spirit in you. And I'll put my spirit in you and cause you to walk in my statutes and keep my judgments and do them. And that's why I'm always screaming, telling people that deliverance is real, y'all. It's real. The Lord will forgive you for your sins. He'll make you a new creature in Christ. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5, 17, if anyone come to Christ, you become a new creature. Old things are passed away and all things become new. And God so merciful, he said in Hebrews 8, 12. The Lord said, I will be merciful to their unrighteousness. And their sins and their iniquities will I remember them no more. The Lord said, if you come to him, he won't even remember your sins anymore. He'll wash them clean. Isaiah 1.18, the Lord said, come now. The Lord said, come now and let us reason together, said the Lord. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool, saith the Lord. The Lord said, if you just come to me now, I'll wash your, cleans as, your sins as clean as white as snow, no matter what your sins is. The Lord will forgive you for your sins, my friend. He'll forgive you for your sins. Just got to come boldly to the throne of grace and repent. It's only one sin that the Lord, that God, don't forgive. Just one sin. And that's the blasphemy of the Holy Ghost. That's the only sin that the Lord do not forgive. And what the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost is, Eba Shia, in the days when Jesus Christ was in the flesh, he was casting out demons and performing many miracles. And the Pharisees and the scribes and Sadducees and Pharisees, they saw Jesus performing these great miracles. They saw Jesus performing these great works through the Spirit of God. But they said that he could only do these things because he was possessed with a demon. They called the Holy Ghost a demon, y'all. 
And Jesus said, every manner of, 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 of evil word that man shall speak shall be forgiven him, but the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven. So if you was to see me casting out a demon in the name of Jesus Christ out of someone or performing great miracles in the name of Jesus Christ, and you was to say I was only be able to do that because I got a demon, then you blaspheme the Holy Ghost. Unbelief of the Holy Ghost will lead someone to blasphemy. Unbelief and doubt. And that's the only sin that the Lord don't forgive, y'all. So maybe you are homosexual. Or maybe you are born again. You having sex with this person and that person trying to find love. Or maybe you watching porn and masturbating. Or maybe you somebody who just don't know God. Maybe you living by your own standards. Maybe you full of pride and got a heart of unforgiveness. Maybe you smoking and drinking, trying to take the pain away. Maybe you a drug addict. Maybe you hate your family. But I just want you to know that. The Lord said, come to me, all of you who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest for your souls. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, saith the Lord. Burton is light. The Lord will forgive you for your sins, and he'll give you rest for your soul, and he'll give you a peace of mind. I'm a living, walking testimony, y'all. And today I just been spending time with the Lord on my birthday because it's just a blessing. In my new home that the Lord have blessed me with. It's been a long journey. But I know I got a longer way to go and more, much, much more to learn. So I'm just growing and growing each and every day, y'all. And I'm just grateful. I'm just grateful. I just wanted to make this video. I love y'all. And I just pray that it, it blesses somebody out there. Jesus loves you. He loves you with the fullness of his heart. And even when you're in a part of your sins, maybe you can't see it right now. But the Lord, the Lord got a plan for your life. He said in Jeremiah 29, 11, I know the plans I have for you, said the Lord. Plans to give you a future and a hope and expect an end. You know, when I was in them streets, y'all, it was times when I was on a block selling dope. I could hear the Lord speaking to me, telling me you don't belong here. That night in that car when I was going to get affiliated in the blood gang, I could hear the Lord speaking to me, telling me you don't belong here. But that night when that gun was in my face and he pulled the trigger, but all it would do was click. I heard the Lord speaking to me, telling me you don't belong here. Those weary nights I was in the jail cell, confused, carrying a burden, lost. I could hear the Lord speaking to me, telling me, you don't belong here. And the Lord is telling you, maybe you in your sins, maybe you somewhere, and the Lord just telling you, you don't belong there. Maybe you with somebody and the Lord telling you, you don't belong with them. Maybe you in your sin and the Lord just telling you, come out of Babylon, come out of your sins, and come unto me, saying the Lord. The Lord loves you and he got a plan for your life. You just got to surrender, say yes to his will. God bless you. Holiness is still right and deliverance is still real. Shalom.